Doris, uh, I'm, I'm just curious, uh, after listening to the, the representatives this morning, your thoughts. Well, it just was so heartwarming to hear him reference history with Julian Bond, talk about Martin Luther King. You know, what Lincoln said is that public sentiment is everything, that he who molds public opinion and public sentiment, not really opinion, a deeply held value, has more power than he who gives judicial decisions or enacts statutes. Public sentiment is going to change. It is already changing. We saw it change in the midterm. We saw it in Kansas. We saw it in Wisconsin. You cannot have things that are not decent, that are wrong, that people just know are deadly wrong. What happened there was wrong. And how he was able to transfer it to an attack on democracy rather than himself. Think of the difference between that and we watched President Trump, former President Trump this week. Everything was about himself, not about what responsibility he might have had. I think public sentiment is going to begin to change on him as well. There's such an extreme reaction when everything he talked about, calling people lunatics, calling them animals, you know, saying that we should defund the police and the, and the, and the DOJ. Um, there's a, a sense in the country that this isn't right, and the accumulated obsession with him, I think, and the fact that we're losing time, we're losing energy by fighting that battle instead of fighting the battles for gun control, fighting the battles for mm -hmm. the right to choose. These are the battles that we have to fight, and I think somehow these events become turning points, just as they did during the Civil Rights Movement. When you saw those dogs go against the kids, when you saw the, um, the hoses on, with John Lewis, and you saw people being sent to the hospital, Somebody in the country, the whole country rose up, the mighty voice of the majority said, this isn't right, this isn't right, we're going to do something about it. They get a Civil Rights Act and a Voting Rights Act. I think that's where we're at right now. The extremism is so extreme, and that's a, extremism is so extreme, that I think there's right. a reaction among middle America that we're seeing growing and growing and growing. And that's the hope you take out of those two young men in the, in the state legislature, the way they talked about democracy. The more we talk about it, the more we get people hearts involved in this struggle, I think we're on a path. I really do think we're on a path. Now, I know I've thought that before. I thought it January 6th. I thought it with the January 6th hearings. But I really think now there's something that's happening that's gone beyond the bounds of decency. And the American people have decency and a sense of fairness and right and wrong. They know what's moral, and they know this is not moral, what's happening right now.